it's your lady, Shay La. I don't know what that was. Um, but thank you for joining me for another edition of Behind the Gear. And today's episode, we are going to be doing a studio tour. Yay! First things first, here is the uh, door to the studio. It's called Mickey Shay's Recording Studio, established 2006. Um, it's not been like a real recording studio for that long, but that is when I started like writing my own songs and recording into Microsoft PowerPoint and uh, Windows uh, uh, voice note or whatever it was and bouncing between those two programs and my karaoke tape machine and a smaller tape machine. So that's why it's established 26 and Mickey Shea was a nickname that a friend of mine had given me. Let us enter. Oh wait, let me turn the light back on. I don't know why I turned the light off. Oh, oh, oh. And as you can see, there's a bed in the studio. I, I eat, drink, breathe, sleep, music. No, it's a bedroom studio. That's why there's a bed in here. Um, and here is my bookshelf. It's kind of junky, but it's not that bad. I've actually cleaned it up. And then there's a bunch of musical stuff. And there's my piano. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about it because the piano is going to have its own episode. But the piano helps a lot with stuff because um, it plays songs. I play songs on the piano. <laughs> and um, it plugs up to the computer with MIDI. But anyway, I'll come back to the computer. And here is my studio desk where all the, ma not all the magic, but where all the recording happens, essentially. Um, here's Baby Yoda. He's in his Christmas attire. Hey, Baby Yoda. And um, here is the magical piece I use to um, record everything with. So I've got two inputs on this, and each input... Okay, let me turn the bright light on. Oh, it's not plugged up. Dang. Thought I had all this worked out and set up before I started filming, but that's okay. There we go. So I've got uh, two inputs, um, and each input has both a quarter inch cable, so the guitar cable could go in there, but also XLR, which should be um, your microphone cables. And I really only need one of these holes with both inputs because I'm always it's just always me playing by myself. I record all my stuff. And um, there's my Tennessee I Voted stickers and a cool um, fortune cookie thing I got. You are packed with, can I focus? You are packed with creativity that I thought was good. And a website my mom gave me for some church graphics because um, I do the church social media. And that's where I plug in my headphones. That's where I control the volume of the headphones. That's where I control the volume for the speakers, a.k.a. studio monitors. And there is a couple of my favorite bands, Joseph and Liam Havis. And here is my idea whiteboard. Like the white space in the middle is where I've like just kind of scratched stuff up there. And the rest of it is just stuff that like I put up there um, just to remind me of stuff. Like for example, this corner over here, I've got a scripture from my dad. I've got um, the Rex, not Rex, but the uh, specs for the CD Baby uploads to distribute my stuff to Spotify. And different tips and tricks about logic. Like if the playhead is missing, hit the one key. Um, and how to separate MIDI tracks uh, right there. And then this is just my board where I jot stuff down. And here is my calendar. I need to update it because it's definitely not October. <laughs> um, but that's where I write all my stuff. That's where I usually write my shows. But because of the time that the world is currently in, in 2020, I, I'm not having any physical shows. And But anyway... But these little things are quotes. Um, someone told me that you are somebody. I've got to remember, treat myself well and love myself as well as I love everybody else. Um, give me what to say and play. That's a quote from one of my faves, Liz Weiss, right there. And that is a quote of hers too. Active or productive is just like a quote that's kind of generic, I think. I forgot where I read it. And then that's just the date format for um, the church website. Uh, for the events, um, but all these little drawings, I did these, um, a few years ago, actually, and these are all quotes from some of my favorite bands and favorite songs, 
This one right here, I'm going into like super detail, <laughs> but hey, it's a studio tour. Um, this one breeze is made of pine and campfire smoke, offer an invitation to rest on blankets of mossy floors. Four, that's a Joseph quote from the song Gold. And this, I can't see gold, you won't give me silver, is a quote from same song, same band. Empty me out, fill me with you, let's lose vice. Here coming close, wear me like a winter jacket, that's Joseph. What you've done cannot be undone, but you wake up to another son, that's Joseph. And then burn up the despair that's been sinking me. That's Joseph also. And I also have some quotes, like little illustration things like that for Lamolo and also Deep Sea Diver. Some quotes I have, but I don't know. I think they're in my drawer somewhere. I need to put them back up. But they've been through several moves. So, um, and like I said, here's Leanne and Joseph in my lamp. And these are the studio monitors, a.k.a. speakers. And pro tip, if you're thinking about, um, if you're thinking about, getting a home video, not home video, a home stereo system or whatever, or just, you just want some speakers that'll be good just for music listening or whatever, and that are high quality. Pro tip, I learned this when I was looking for these speakers. These speakers are made for mixing in studio speakers, studio monitors, what have you, but they're really good for just like general music listening, but also they're a lot cheaper a lot of the time than your consumer grade speakers. So they're like higher quality and better, but they're cheaper. Um, but yeah, that's my pro tip. And I actually got these bad boys for like a deep discount, super deep discount, because they're about to discontinue these type of speakers um, when I got them. And I slowly built my studio over like a few months. That's not slowly, that's kind of fast. But basically, I bought all this stuff at different times. So I had my laptop first, and then I bought this little bad boy, the Focusrite 2i2. It's the first generation, and it's still kicking. Um... And then I got a microphone bundle, and then I got the speakers super cheap. One came from, like, Alpharetta, Georgia. Georgia. Another one was already in store here in Knoxville. And Guitar Center. Um, but here's my microphone in the stand. This is not the original stand. I accidentally broke the original stand, but I got the stand, the microphone, and the microphone cable all in a bundle together. And the pop filter thing. This is basically so you don't get and it's really hard and boom, in your mic and hear all that wind. And I've got this little um, beret. This is actually, uh, I think it's a beret. I don't know what it's called. This is Baby Yoda's little hat. But I put it on the microphone like that. Because I used to keep my microphone in the drawer. And only take it out and I was going to record. And that's the, this is back of the microphone. And I keep it over that. Kind of like a dust cover. That's kind of cute. So I just keep that there. And here's my SPD-SX uh, drum machine slash sample machine. We use this live. And also this helps with... Adding in extra drum sounds and noises when I'm recording. And it's going to have its own video, so I'm not going to get super deep. And here is my little first act amp. Um, it's a guitar amp. Um, and it's amazing. I've had it for, like, since I was, like, 12 or 13. It's great. It's going to have its video, too. And there's my first act electric guitar. And here's my Fender uh, bass. And here's my Ibanez. Um, all these are going to have their own little um behind the gear videos i'm not gonna do a separate gear on the mic i include the mic with the studio but um yeah so here's my instrument corner and there's my dj lights it came in a pack of four on amazon and they're amazing and they came with a remote control all for well under 100 bucks but yeah so anyway here is a corner where I keep most of my instruments. And then the little baby dim djembe. Wow. Djembe right there. And then those guitar chord and guitar scales posters, I've had those since, like, I've had my guitar, basically. And they still come in handy to this day because there's all kind of weird stuff or stuff I want to forget or do. And then some posters where I was in this So Far show. I was in Rhythm and Blooms Festival the same year that um, Young the Giant headlined. Some Momolo merch and stuff and of course me over there in the corner and my faves joe and then here's that's kind of junky but whatever this is a real raw um video and behind the gear and my phone is saying i only have like 40 seconds left so i'm gonna stop this video and we're gonna come back i try not to move too much but we're gonna splice this together anyway but yeah there's my writing desk by the window i love it and um, sometimes I move my computer over there and work. Um, I write and work from right there. And then here's the other corner where all my stuff is. Um, 
Yeah, and there's the acoustic guitar. That was featured on another episode of Behind the Gear, and I'm going to figure out how to do the cool YouTube card link thing like all the cool YouTubers do so I can link you to that video. Um, that stoplight, I got that um, when my brother was moving out um, of his apartment. Yeah, moving from one apartment to another. I can't remember if it was dorm to apartment, whatever. He was moving, and he was going to toss it. And I was like, does it work? He was like, yeah, I just don't want it. And so I got the traffic light. And there's my camera stand. And there's a bunch of signed posters and things from people that I got to see live. And there's yours truly. I got a write-up in the newspaper. And there's my release show. And there's another Rhythm and Blooms poster. That's like one of the ones I had around town. And there's Liz Vice. And there's Family Band. Funny story about this Family Band. Um printout poster thing so they were coming to town and I was like I don't know if they have any CDs they have like tons of singles but I want something that they can sign and so I printed that out and then brought my gold sharpie and they thought it was the coolest thing and here's deep sea diver uh oh where they where I bought their um their uh impossible rate weight record and Jessica was kind enough to sign a card in addition to giving me the normal printout card and that's William Wilde at the top, right there, Propaganda, More Lamolo, Maplehurst, they're defunct now. But, fun fact, David Francisco, also of American Idol fame, was the leader of that band. Kelsey Kopecky's awesome. I already talked about Liz. And this is what one of my buddies and co-workers at my old job got me when I released um, 26 Letters, my first EP. And here's a picture of me and Liam LaHovas. I ran into her at a cool spot um, after the show in Knoxville in 20, ooh, 2016, I believe. And then here's my record player. Why is this blurry? There we go. Here's my record player and my shelf. My shelf is not that bad. It's bad, but it's not as bad as it could be. And there in this little crevice is like all the posters and stuff I need to hang up. And there's just a copy of the so far thing with our Instagram handles and a bunch of pictures I need to put in my albums. I've got another fresh album down there. And I've got a tennis ball because I usually roll my back on the wall to uh, get out some of the um, the knots and stuff. Here's a Joseph record. I think this is Impossible Weight. Yeah, Impossible Weight, signed edition. I think it's the Sunburst, too. Um, and then some more vinyl down here. Um, that can actually be another episode, I think, of Behind the Gear, but it's not really gear or anything. And, um, that's that corner. But yeah, I might do a vinyl episode. And here's the other instrument corner. And here's my desk. We already talked about piano, my shelf, the doors, and the Joseph corner. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is the studio. What? And thank you for tuning in on this episode of Behind the Gear Studio Tour. See you soon.